integral from 0 to 2018 pi of absolute value of sine of 2018x dx. Now you can work with this question with sine of 2018x, but for me, and I'm guessing most of you guys too, I'm more used to working with sine of x than sine of 2018x. So let's just make u substitution of u equals to 2018x. So our integral becomes a little bit easier to deal with. So we know du is equal to 2018dx, differentiating this. So we need 2018dx. So let's multiply by 2018 and divide by 2018 to keep the equality and to force du to appear inside our integral. So what do we have? We have 1 over 2018 and we have integral. We are about to worry about bounds, but let's do the inside expression first. We have absolute value of sine of u. 2018x is u, this was intentional. And we have 2018dx, which is equal to du. Now, what about the bounds? Well, we are going from x equals to 0 to 2018 pi, and we know u equals to 2018x. So, when x is 0, we know u is going to be 0, because 2018 times 0 is 0. And when x is 2018 pi, our u is going to be 2018 times 2018 pi, or 2018 squared times pi. So we have this expression right here. So how can we evaluate this? Well, so we need to find the area under absolute value of sine of u from 0 to 2018 squared pi. Since we are dealing with a periodic function, we know sine of u has period of 2 pi, and the absolute value of sine of u, as we are about to find out, has a period of pi. It may be easier to deal with this by graphing this out. So let's do so. So by graphing this, we know how the function is going to behave. And in fact, instead of starting, instead of graphing absolute value of sine of u, let me graph sine of u first, because we are more used to working with sine of u. So we know sine of u goes something like this, this wave function, and we know this part repeats over and over again. There's another one and so on. And we know this, this part occurs at pi, and the point of another repetition is at 2 pi. And we know this is graph of sine of u. Now, what's that telling us about the graph of absolute value of sine of u? How is the graph going to change if we change this to absolute value of sine of u? Well, remember that absolute value changes negatives to, to positives and keeps positives the same. So we know the positive part of the graph from 0 to pi is going to stay the same, but the negative part of the graph from pi to 2 pi is going to be flipped upwards because negatives are going to, cha are going to be changed to positives. So for absolute value of sine of u, we are going to have a bunch of these mountains we have a bunch of these mountains that's rising on top of the u-axis, and we are finding the areas, so we are summing up the areas of these mountains. And how many mountains do we have? Well, we have one mountain when we stop at 1 pi, we have two mountains when we stop at 2 pi, but we are stopping at 2018 squared pi, so we have 2018 squared mountains, one for each period of pi. So, if we can find one area, area of one of these mountains, we simply have to multiply by 2018 squared to evaluate this integral. So what's the area of one, one of the mountains? Well, that's going to be integral from 0 to pi of absolute value of sine of u, or we know sine of u and absolute value of sine of u are the same from 0 to pi, so we can simply use sine of u du, and this is relatively easy to evaluate. Negative cosine of u from 0 to pi. So we have negative, negative cosine of pi minus negative cosine of 0. And we know cosine of pi is negative 1. So we have positive 1 minus cosine of 0 is 1. So we have negative 1 or 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we know area of one of these mountains is 2. We have 2018 squared of them. So this entire, this entire integral evaluates to 2 times 2018 squared. But we gotta remember, we're dividing by 2018 as well. So our final answer, our final answer is 2 times 2018 squared over 2018, 
or 2 times 2018. So we can cancel this out to get 2018 or 4036.